Assalamu alaikum. Today's video is about the world's most deadly snakes. I have divided this video into three parts. So let's get started. Most people in the world have a fear of snakes, including me. The fear seems perfectly rational seeing as how dangerous some of these snakes can be. But a question begs to be asked, are snakes really the dangerous? The simple answer is that, while a majority of the snakes are harmless, we still need to maintain a distance. Did you know that there are more than 3000 types of snakes on the planet? According to the World Health Organization, there are more than 600 venomous species of snakes on earth, but only around 200 can do any real damage to humans. And even a smaller number of venomous snakes are so venomous that you may not even believe it. Scientists measure how venomous a snake is by using a toxicology test called the median lethal dose, also known as LD50. The smaller the number, the more venomous the snake. Bites from venomous or non venomous snakes can be extremely painful. There are quite a few dangerous snakes in the world, and it is always better to know what kind of snake you are dealing with before you decide your next step. Black Mamba The Black Mamba, Dendrospis polylepis, inhabits vast areas of savanna, hill country, and forests in southern and eastern sub Saharan Africa. Its name comes not from its color, which is yellowish, brown khaki or grey skin, but from the black inter of its mouth. The black mamba is feared because it is large and quick and it possesses an extremely potent venom that kills most of its human victims. They often reach around 10 feet in length and can move at 12 miles per hour. Speaking of the black mamba's bite, this snake has an extremely lethal type of venom in its fangs. While it can inject 100 to 400 mg of venom in a single bite, the average person patients within 6 to 14 hours of being bitten. In fact, most symptoms begin in as little as 10 minutes, making this snake particularly fearsome. As if all of this wasn't bad enough, the bite of the black mamba also has analgesic factors which makes its victim feel as if they haven't been bitten or perhaps the bite isn't as extreme as it actually is. Their venom is extremely toxic and just two drops are reportedly enough to kill most humans. A black mamba's venom attacks both the nervous system and the heart. While they have a reputation for being aggressive, Black mambas are generally found to be shy and nervous. They primarily eat small mammals and birds, while they prefer warm-blooded prey. A black mamba will also feed on other snakes. They can be found in Angola, Botswana, Central African Republic, DR Congo, Etaya, Ethiopia, Kenya, Malawi, Mozambique, Namibia, Somalia, South Africa, Tanzania, Uganda, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. The snake is not confrontational if they are disturbed or cornered, but will aggressively defend themselves when threatened by raising its head, opening its mouth, and issuing a warning hiss before striking repeatedly in rapid succession. The combination of speed, venom, and aggressive attitude is what makes the black mamba such a feared snake across Africa and indeed puts it on the list of most dangerous animals in Africa. The King Cobra No one would argue that the King Cobra is among the most venomous snakes in the world. The King Cobra of Euphagus hanna is the largest venomous snake in the world, found in northern India and southern China and the Malay Peninsula, Indonesia and the Philippines. Its bite delivers a tremendous amount of paralysis inducing neurotoxins. The snake's venom is so strong and so voluminous that it can kill an elephant in just a few hours. It also results in at least 50 to 60 percent of untreated human cases. It measures up to 18 feet, according to the Natural History Museum in London. The snake's impressive eyesight allows it to spot a moving person from nearly 330 feet away, according to the Smithsonian Institute.
Not only does it insert an average of 400 to 1000 mg per bite, but their venom is potent enough to kill approximately 11 people in one bite. The cobra is dark olive or brown in color with black bands and white and yellow cross bands with cream or pale yellow undersides. It has black hairs with two crossbars near the snout and two behind the eyes. Young cobras are shiny black with narrow yellow bands. When threatened, a king cobra will use special ribs and muscles in its neck to flare out its hood or the skin on its head. These snakes can also lift their heads off the ground, about a third of their body length. They primarily eat other snakes including the venomous ones. However, when food is scarce, they also eat ligers, birds and rodents. With a 50% fatality rate for untreated human bites, the king cobra is an apex predator that deserves to be high on the list of deadliest snakes. Inland Taipan The bite of an inland or western taipan, Oxyuranus microlepidotus, also called approximately the fierce snake, delivers a veritable witch's brew of toxins. The venom consists of typoxin, a complex mix of neurotoxins, procagulants, and myotoxins that paralyzes muscles, inhibit breathing, cause hemorrhaging in blood vessels and tissues, and damage muscle. The inland taipan is one of the most venomous snakes, meaning just a teensy bit of its venom can kill prey. The inland taipan, one of three types of taipans, coastal, inland, and central ranges, is dark tan in color ranging from a rich dark hue to a brownish light gray depending on the season. This variety of taipan is found to be smaller than the coastal variety and can grow up to 1.7 meters in length. They live tucked away in the clay crevices of Queensland and South Australia's flood plains, often within the pre dug burrows of other animals. Living in more remote locations than the coastal taipan, the inland taipan rarely comes into contact with humans. A solitary creature, these snakes primarily come out during the day. They are most active early in the morning and generally spend their time looking for food and basking in the sun. They are also seen out in the afternoons on cooler days. Inland taipans only feed on mammals, mostly rodents like the long-haired rat, the plains rat, and the house mouse. When the taipan does feel threatened, the snake coils its body into a tight S shape before darting out in one quick bite or multiple bites. In fact, the inland taipan bites with only 44 to 110 mg of venom per bite, but this is still enough enough to kill 289 humans. If you happen to get bitten by this type, seeking an emergency medical center is a must. There are enough potent neurotoxins in this snake's venom to kill a fully grown person in as little as 45 minutes. Without a doubt, the inner type is the most dangerous snake for humans and can be considered to be the deadliest animals on the planet. Boom slang. The boom slang, this foreigner's type, lives in trees throughout most of Africa, especially in Swaziland, Botswana, Namibia, Mozambique, and Zimbabwe. With an egg shaped head, oversized eyes, and a bright green patterned body, the boom slang is quite the looker. It is a real fang snake. Such snakes can fold their fangs back into their mouths when not in use. Its name means tree snake in Africa and it hunts by mimicking a branch, extending the fore part of its body motionless from a tree. When threatened, the snake will inflate its neck to twice its size and expose a brightly colored flap of its skin between its scales. As you can no doubt see, the boom slang has an incredibly potent bite, only injecting 1 to 8 mg at a time, so it would only take a single bite to kill a person. It has a highly potent venom which disables blood coagulation and leads to internal and external bleeding, killing the victim. The venom is delivered through large fangs located in the back of the jaw which can open to 170 degrees when biting. It delivers its venom by chewing on its victim until the victim succumbs to the toxins. 
death from a bush-like bite can be gruesome. A scientific American describes it. Victims suffer extensive muscle and brain hemorrhage, and on top of that, blood will start seeping out of every possible exit, including the gums and nostrils, and even the tiniest of cuts. Blood will also start passing through the body via the victim's stools, urine, saliva, and vomit until they die. But what's even more dangerous than the venom from the post line? The false sense of security it gives people after they have been bitten. The bull's line is notorious for biting people and having no adverse side effects, at least not right away. Many snake bite victims of the bull's line assume that they have been bitten with a dry bite or non-legal dose. However, the side effects come when it is already too late. Luckily, there is antivenom for the bull's line if the victim can get it in time. The bullslang is a timid snake, inflating its neck and assuming an S-shaped striking pose, but generally only biting humans when people attempt to handle, catch, or kill it. Eastern Tiger Snake The Eastern Tiger Snake, not at its scutatus, is the most widely distributed type of tiger snake which inhabits the southern fringe of Australia and the regions nearby islands. As it prepares to strike, it flattens its head and neck in a manner similar to Asian and African cobras. The Eastern Tiger Snake is named for the yellow and black bands on its body. Though not all populations spot their pattern, they are highly variable in color and are often banded like the stripes on a tiger. A tiger snake can grow two lengths of up to 1 to 1.5 meters, similar to cobras. They are aggressive when startled. Although they usually avoid people, they might attack if disturbed or threatened. While the tiger snake mainly feeds on frogs, it also eats other reptiles, fish, birds, and small mammals. Native to Australia, they are found in Tasmania, Queensland, South Australia, New South Wales, and Victoria. This highly venomous snake is one of the deadliest snakes in Australia. The tiger snake's venom contains a blood clotting agent and nerve paralyzer, highly potent neurotoxins, coagulants, myotoxins, and hemolysis. Once bitten by the tiger snake, the victim will experience extreme pain in the foot and neck, body tingling, excessive sweating, numbness, trouble breathing, and paralysis. The venom can be fatal to humans, and the mortality rate is nearly 60%. Its potent venom can cause poisoning in humans in just 15 minutes after a bite and is responsible for at least one death a year on average. Therefore, it can also be considered one of the world's deadliest snakes. Banded Great The Banded Great Bangreas fasciatus is a highly venomous relative of the cobra found across the Indian subcontinent, Southeast Asia, and Southern China. Reaching lengths of over 2 meters, this crate is easily identified by its bright yellow and black crossbands and the marked vertebral ridge. The banded crate is a slow mover during the day and is much more likely to bite after dark. Most active at night, the banded crate feeds on other snakes and their eggs and may also eat fish, frogs, and skinks. It's a shy, nocturnal snake that doesn't go out of its way to bite people. Its venom is essentially a neurotoxin that induces paralysis. The snake's venom can paralyze muscles and prevent the diaphragm from moving. This stops air from entering the lungs, effectively resulting in suffocation. The mortality rate for untreated bites is thought to be around 10%.